Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrek. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in which His Majesty condemned the firing of several ballistic missiles by the Iranian backed coup militia in Yemen, targeting population centers in some areas of Saudi Arabia, including Riyadh. His Majesty stated that the cowardly terrorist attack, which targeted the safety of civilians, is a criminal act that violates international laws, values, and principles. His Majesty the King hailed the competency and outstanding ability of the Royal Saudi Air Defense Forces in intercepting the missile before reaching its targets. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's stance towards Saudi Arabia and its support of all the measures it takes to counter these terrorist acts to maintain its security and stability and the safety of its citizens. He also affirmed that the security of Saudi Arabia is an integral part of Bahrain and the region's security. His Majesty prayed to Allah the Almighty to protect the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia and its people under the leadership of the Saudi monarch. The custodian of the two holy mosques expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his kind sentiments and Bahrain's honoring and supporting stances which reflect the depth of historic relations between the two countries, wishing Bahrain progress and development under the leadership of His Majesty. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, condemning the attacks on Saudi Arabia by ballistic missiles that were intercepted by the Royal Saudi Air Defense Forces. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's unity with Saudi Arabia and its ongoing war against all forms of terrorism at all levels, and its full support to the measures it takes to defend its territory, maintain its security and stability, and protect its people. His Majesty the King prayed to Allah Almighty to protect Saudi Arabia and its people. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, denouncing the coup militia missile targeting of uh, residential areas in the sister the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, effectively intercepted by the Royal Saudi Air Defense Forces. His Royal Highness, the Premier, stressed that such a hostile act that targeted Saudi Arabia's security and safety ran counter to all religious, humanitarian, and international values. His Royal Highness also reiterated Bahrain's solidarity and unwavering support stance with the sister the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in all the measures it takes to preserve its security and stability. He praised the Saudi armed forces and their efforts in safeguarding the security and safety of the region and defending its capabilities, supplicating to Allah Almighty to safeguard the sister the Kingdom and its people from all harm of mischief and to perpetuate its security, peace, welfare and prosperity under the wise leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Crown Prince, the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Royal Highness uh, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Ghudaybiyya Palace today His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Their Royal Highnesses discussed the latest regional and international developments and stressed the necessity of coordination in facing the challenges targeting the nation, especially in the light of the terrorist threats which aim at destabilizing the security in the countries of the region. They also highlighted the importance of legislations that support economic and investment movements in the kingdom, affirming the keenness of the government to develop such legislations to attract more foreign investment to the kingdom.
His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today at Ghazabiya Palace the weekly cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness ordered the postponement of imposing fees on practicing business activities a further period of six months from the 1st of April 2018, referred to in, in the Ministerial Resolution No. 130 of 2016. His Royal Highness appointed the Minister of Commerce, Industry and Tourism to take the necessary actions regarding the matter which comes in response to the request of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and His Royal Highness's keenness to reach an agreement with the Chamber. The cabinet strongly condemned the firing of several ballistic missiles by the Iran-backed coup militia in Yemen targeting population centers in some areas of Saudi Arabia. It hailed the competency and outstanding ability of the Royal Saudi Air Defense Forces in intercepting the attack. The cabinet stated that the attack was cowardly. The cabinet affirmed Bahrain's unity with Saudi Arabia and all the measures it takes to counter the, mil the militia's failed and desperate attempts that target the security and stability of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Prime Minister and Minister of Defense, Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Saud. The Prime Minister ordered uh, to follow up with housing needs of Al Salihiyah village residential or residents. He instructed the Minister of Housing to take the necessary measures in this regard. The cabinet approved adding four new commercial activities that allow foreign investors to own 100% of them, including the organization of touristic tours, operation of water transports in parks, and organization and production of sports events, as well as cultivating and propagating plants. It also approved separating legal activities into two, restricting the profession of lawyers to Bahrainis only. Foreign investors are also allowed complete ownership in the field of air medical services. The cabinet also approved a new draft law issuing a marine law that cancels the current one and the vessel registration law. The representation of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism in the GCC Ministerial Committee for Standardization Affairs had been approved. The cabinet referred to the Supreme Council of Education and Training Development, the renewal of the Education and Training Quality Authority membership in a number of regional and international authorities and organizations. The cabinet approved the government's response on two proposals submitted by the Representatives Council, the first on a sports club for mentally disabled people and the second on the urban development project in Kerbabad. The cabinet also reviewed a report from the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism on his recent visit to the United Kingdom and France. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, condemning the attacks on Saudi Arabia by ballistic missiles that were intercepted by the Royal Saudi Air Defense Forces. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, affirmed Bahrain's unity with Saudi Arabia and its ongoing war against all forms of terrorism at all levels, and has full support for the steps it takes to defend its territory, maintain its security and stability, and protect its people. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Defense of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His, Her Royal Highness, a wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, received at the Council's headquarters today the non resident ambassador of Switzerland to Bahrain, Maya Tisafi, in the presence of the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa. Her, Her Royal Highness, Princess Sabika, affirmed the Council's keenness to implement the Memorandum of Understanding that was signed during the visit of His Majesty the King to, Swiss, to Switzerland in 2016 regarding the advancement 
native woman. She also stressed the Council's commitment since its establishment in 2001 to cooperate closely with private and public sectors as well as the civil society to develop the policies, services and initiatives focusing on women. In this regard, Her Royal Highness reviewed the achievements of Bahrain in the field of women's support, including the issuance of family law, the protection from domestic violence law, and the establishment of the family courts. She also noted Bahrain's participation on the international level, where it cooperated with the United Nations Women to launch an international award for women empowerment for both the public and private sectors, and civil society as well as individuals. For her part, the Swiss ambassador hailed the Bahraini experience in the field of women advancement and welcomed the strengthening of joint cooperation between Bahrain and Switzerland to serve the two friendly countries. The Speaker of the Representatives Council and President of the Parliamentary Division, Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mullah, delivered a speech at the meeting of uh, the 138th Union Assembly of the International Parliament held in Geneva, Switzerland. Al Mullah affirmed that Bahrain is exerting efforts to protect immigrants and refugees, noting that a regional representative of the UNHCR was appointed. He stated that the kingdom is keen on playing its role of enhancing and supporting the comprehensive sustainable development for a better, glo better global future. He he added that facing challenges in humanitarian suffering is the only way to solve them and stressed the importance of unified efforts to deal with the issues of immigrants and refugees. Al Mullah highlighted the speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa that urges for the need to protect and provide the help and support for the people in need, in addition to providing the support to brotherly countries according to international standards worked by the UN as well as international treaties. He, appointed, or he pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain established a number of projects for refugees, including a residential complex in Al-Zatari camp and Al-Azraq camp. A school for girls was opened in Irbid Governorate, a center for creativity as well as a science complex, which is the first educational project and one of the most important projects that serves about 5,000 students. In addition to many projects and assistance provided by the World Charity Organization for Refugees in some countries of the world. Al Mullah called on the General Assembly to approve the emergency topics submitted by the Kingdom of Bahrain, Kuwait, Palestine and Turkey as this would lead to the stability of the situation in general and help find the appropriate solutions to the Palestinian cause. He pointed out that the Kingdom of Bahrain earned the highest ranking in 2017 as a preferred place for foreigners to work and stay with the family. Also, the final preparatory meeting of the International Migrants Convention held in Mexico adopted the Kingdom of Bahrain's experience in reforming the labor market, the adoption of a flexible work permit as a best international practice, the Bahraini project in the Human Rights Council, and its adoption as an international model in the Economic and Social Commission. He stressed the need to give more attention to the problem of migrants and refugees and exert efforts to provide safe havens for them and facilitate the crossing of the barriers and geographical boundaries and provide them with all means of material and moral support. The chairman of uh, the Supreme Council for Health, the SCH, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, chaired a coordination meeting in partnership with the Ministry of Health, the Labor and Social Development Ministry, the Labor Front, Mkin, and public and private health institutions. The SCH chairman announced the launch of a national initiative to train unemployed Bahraini doctors to qualify them and integrate them into the labor market. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed stated that the program follows the directives of the leadership to honor the skills of young Bahrainis and provide them with training opportunities and job vacancies. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, inaugurated the events of the 5th Operational Excellence Conference in Oil, Gas and Petrochemicals at the Conferences and Exhibition Hall. In Crown Plaza, plagiarized by the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, organized by the European Petroleum Consulting Company, and sponsored by Bobco, DuPont and uh, Solomon's Associates. The minister delivered a speech in which he welcomed the guests wishing them a pleasant stay in the kingdom, expressing thanks and appreciation to the government for its keenness on providing uh, support to the National Oil and Gas Authority for its efforts to attract regional and international events that contribute to boosting the national economy and supporting sustainable development during His Majesty the King's era. 
The minister hailed the European Petroleum Consulting Company's determination to host the best oil event and conferences in Bahrain, following the success it achieved at previous oil events. He affirmed the importance of the conference, expressing pleasure with Bahrain's hosting operational excellence conferences for the fifth year to become a remarkable platform for senior officials, decision makers, engineers, technicians, and all the local, regional, and international oil sector affiliates. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the conference's organizing committees, president, and members for choosing Bahrain to hold the conferences and for their organizational efforts. OPEX MENA brings together major upstream and downstream operators in the region with the leading providers of technology and solutions, as well as consultants, to exchange ideas and experiences on the important topic of operational excellence. The subject is very important because it deals with uh, reliability in operation and uh, uh, efficiency, and all of that results in safety of operation and efficiency of operation, and also profitability of the operation. The conference is a great opportunity for us to um, show what we do to uh, clients in the region and we are looking forward to interacting with those folks and uh, some of them we already work with but others uh, we are looking forward to uh, meeting and uh, developing relationships with. I think Bahrain is a truly excellent place for these conferences with, their, with its excellent logistics, its welcoming attitude of the people and its embracing view of these techni technical events. It makes it a great place actually. There are many opportunities to improve the efficiency of operations and many companies are becoming well established in implementing an operational excellence roadmap whilst understanding that this is a continuous process. We are in SCAM uh, uh, participating in this uh, conference and we are uh, sharing our knowledge uh, in this journey. Operational excellence is, uh, is, a, is a long journey and uh, when it is adopted by uh, other companies it means um, a management system uh, that achieve uh, that enable all the companies to achieve its strategic goals. Our participation is kind of uh a continuous effort by uh, ADNOC to be a part of all these events, whether in the Kingdom of Bahrain or uh, in the GCC countries. Uh, in the end, we are reaching to, uh, to achieve our best practice, which is the big theme of the Operation Excellence. We are looking uh, for more uh, uh, tools that can help to reduce the cost uh, per barrel. Uh, most important to be competitive in the, in the region itself. We are looking for, uh, for operation excellence. And operation excellence can be through uh, our competency in, in our people itself or in uh, production wise and how much, uh, we, are how much we are, we are uh, producing their bottle. Uh. I will be presenting tomorrow to demonstrate the importance of having operators involved in projects from as early a stage as possible. Uh, because at the end of the day, they're the guys that have to run the facility. The event format is structured to encourage networking and open discussion, and this spirit of knowledge sharing allows companies to innovate in the areas of people, process, assets, and technology. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogh Mohammed. The military court of Kazakhstan today adjourned terrorist cell case 1 of 2017 to April 11 to allow the defense attorneys to present their oral appeals against the high military appeals court ruling. Convicted for the formation of a terrorist cell and committing several terrorist crimes, the defendants are Mbarak Adil Mbarak Mahanna, a soldier, Fadl Sayyid Abbas Hassan Radi, Al Sayyid Alawi Hussein Alawi Hussein. Mohammed Abdel Hassan Ahmed Al Midgawi, Mohammed Abdel Hussein Saleh Al Shihabi, Mohammed Abdel Wahid Mohammed Al Najjar, Hussein Mohammed Ahmed Shihabi. The defendants were granted all the legal sureties by the Military Concession Court in compliance with Military Judiciary Law 2002. Representatives of human rights organizations, media channels, and defendants' relatives also attended the court session. 
Bahrain strongly condemned the firing of several ballistic missiles by the Iran-backed Aqu militia in Yemen, targeting population centers in some areas of Saudi Arabia, including Riyadh, which resulted in the martyrdom of one person and the wounding of others. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs affirmed Bahrain's unity with Saudi Arabia in its ongoing war against all forms of terrorism at all levels and its full support for the steps it takes to defend its territory, maintain its security and stability, and protect its people. While commending the high efficiency and vigilance of the Royal Saudi Air Defense Force and its ability to deal with, the, and, with and destroy ballistic missiles, Bahrain stressed that these ongoing hostilities by the Iran-backed Houthi militia reflects the determination to spread chaos and instability throughout the region and prolong the crisis in Yemen as well as obstruct efforts to settle it peacefully. The General Directorate for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs began receiving visitors to attend the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix based on the directives of the Interior Ministry under Secretary for Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs in which uh, ports uh, witnessed the arrival of large numbers of visitors for the race which will be held at the Bahrain International Circuit from the 6th until the 8th of April. More on this report. The countdown began for the most anticipated sports events of the year where Bahrain is witnessing a large influx of visitors from around the world. The Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs continues to receive applications for a Formula One visa which can be made electronically to 115 specific nationalities online, while nationals of 67 countries and residents of the GCC can obtain a visa upon arrival. Ports employees are qualified to receive the large numbers of visitors and are ready to complete formalities with ease. The race will be held at the Bahrain International Circuit, which has set the stage for an exciting and eventful race, welcoming the number of fans from inside and outside the region who come to enjoy Bahraini hospitality and a wonderful weekend of racing and entertainment on and off the track. The Bahrain Grand Prix is a testament to the government's ongoing commitment to deliver a sustainable economy that benefits all Bahrainis. The Grand Prix has exemplified the Kingdom's outstanding potential as a destination for international events. Bahrain's successful hosting of the race since it began in 2004 has unquestionably boosted Bahrain's prestigious position in international sports circles. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. I'm Barah Abdullah. The Bahrain All Share Index has closed at 1,325.63 points, marking a decrease of 9.33 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial bank sector, investment sector and services sector. Results indicated that 59 equity transactions took place with a volume of 4,533,000. 439 worth 1,244,158 Bahraini dinars.